Glasgow, the 5th of March 2004. Chris Donald and his friend Jamie were walking down Kenmar Street when a silver car screeched up beside them. The doors flung open and Chris was grabbed by four men. He was punched and kicked as he was forced into the back of the Mercedes. The last words his friend Jamie heard from Chris was, I'm only 15. What have I done? One of the men replied, White bastards. Do you know what pain is? Jamie was hysterical and shouting for help. A witness went to inform Chris's mother of what had happened and the police were called. The next morning, Chris Donald's naked, burned and mutilated body was found on a pathway next to the Clyde River. Days later, Zahid Mohammed and Danny Sahid were arrested in connection with a crime. Danny Sahid was found guilty of Chris Donald's murder on the 18th of November 2004. Zahid Mohammed admitted involvement in the abduction of Chris and was jailed for five years. Three other suspects were arrested in Pakistan and extradited to the UK in 2005. The extradited men were Imrad Shahid, Shazan Shahid and Mohammed Faisal Mustak, arrived in Scotland on the 5th of October. They were charged with Chris Donald's murder the following day. The trial opened on the 2nd of October 2006. The jury was told that a gang of five men drove from Glasgow to Dundee and back again looking for a place to torture Chris without being disturbed. The court heard how Chris was dragged from the car and restrained while he was brutally stabbed all over the body including his eyes. The knife punctured his lung, kidney, stomach and intestines. Three of his major arteries were cut. One of his ribs was cut in half and a knife had gone through one side of his arm and out the other side, cutting a notch in his bone. Blind and bleeding, he was doused in petrol and set on fire. When the murderers had sped off in the car, Chris was still conscious. While his body was still on fire, he tried to reach the grass slope that led to the walkway path. This was where he was found by a passerby the next morning. Chris had died from blood loss and suffered 70 cent burns to his body. On the 8th of November 2006, at Edinburgh High Court, the three men were found guilty of the racially motivated murder of Chris Donald. They were sentenced to life imprisonment with a minimum term of 25 years for Imran Shahid, 23 years for Shazam Shahid and 22 years for Mohammed Faisal Mustak. Judge Lord Lewis told them, you have all been convicted by the jury of the racially aggravated abduction and murder of Chris Donald, a wholly innocent 15-year-old boy of slight build. He was selected by you as a victim only because he was white and walking in a certain part of the Pollock Shield area when you sought out a victim. This murder consisted of the premeditated, cold-blooded execution of your victim by stabbing him 13 times and setting him alight with petrol while he was still in life. It truly was an abomination. The savage and barbaric nature of this notorious crime has rightly shocked and appalled the public. Your victim must have been in a great state of terror while being held by you during a four hour car journey across central Scotland and back, and the agony in which he must have suffered during the period between being stabbed and set alight and his death is just beyond imagining.